We know, we know psychologically, we can guess psychologically where Nick Mullins is at right now. Um, what advice would you have for him? I have definite advice, but I would love to hear what you would say to him if you could. Yeah, so I would say don't quit. Don't let the loss take away from your greatness. So there's this quote that my boyfriend showed me that was, be so great, they can't ignore you. Um, I try and live by that quote every single day, but the reality is some days we put our shirts on backwards and some random person comes to us on the street and they're like, yo, your shirt's on backwards. And we're like, oh my God. And we thought we had it all together, but we don't, right? So I think just because he did play well the week before and he tied Joe Montana's record and, you know, there's all this pressure that must have gotten to him. It was prime time, of course, and he went out there and he didn't play so great. And like the quote above, he still played with heart though. And so... Mm -hmm. I don't think that he should be ignored. And like that game I was telling you about from the CSM Bowl, for example, I did tell you I hopped on and I was quarterback. I threw a touchdown in there. Not that it mattered, but I did. We didn't good. win, but damn, it did feel good. It felt great. So I tell Nick that it will get better, that during the times that sometimes, you know, if, if you can't find a way to be great, you still just keep it in your heart and know that you can be great. Because as long as, long as you can do that for yourself, I think the people around you won't ignore it regardless. And when you show that you can get back up after falling down, that says a lot about somebody's character. So I just think keep going. Don't give up. Be totally great. agree. And if you notice, uh, Larry Mullins is in, is watching right now. Nick's grandfather. Hello, Larry. And he says, Nick's fine. And I'm legitimately glad to hear that because if it were me, if it were me, I'd have a nervous breakdown. But I'm not an athlete. <laughs> and I do not have an athlete's temperament. And the one thing I want to say about Nick is I don't know if Nick does have an athlete's temperament. I think he does. Mm -hmm. But from what I saw on the sun in the Sunday game, he had a bit of a coach's temperament in that he was way too hard on himself, way too hard on himself. When he missed those first, from my, I was in the press box and I wasn't in his head. But from what I saw, you missed those first two throws, move on. Jimmy Wood, CJ Wood, those two have no conscience. They believe in themselves no matter what's happening. And that's an athlete's mentality. It really is. CJ's brilliant. CJ is going to be a head coach at a college or an NFL team one day. But when you're playing CJ, move on to the next play. Uh, seriously, because it almost seems like he has that little bit of like a Catholic guilt complex. Like as soon as he missed that throw, he needed confession. He needed to be like, he needed to go to his priest and be like, this is what I did. This is exactly what I meant to do. This is what went wrong. And when he was at his post game press conference, there was a little bit of a confessional thing to dude. You don't have to explain yourself to us. You don't have to feel bad about missing a throw. Everyone misses throws. Everyone has bad games. Remember that in the 10 starts you've had in your career, you can stack those 10 starts up against anyone's first 10 starts in the history of the league. You got to bounce back. You got to channel your inner Jimmy. You got to channel your inner CJ because you're, as, you're not as good. You can play quarterback in this league and you've shown you're better than CJ Beathard. But Beathard went through some serious mental anguish for mm -hmm. years. And it seems like he's bounced back or it hasn't let him, it hasn't broken him. And I think that's what we need to see from Nick. I don't think it's going to break him, but I can't imagine the psychological pressure that he's under right now. And I don't, it might break me. So I would be really inspired to see if Nick can bounce back from this the way that I think Jimmy can. Yeah. I mean, I, I think just the game that he played before la this past weekend shows that, right? I mean, he hadn't played for however long and like, he wasn't the starting quarterback to begin the season, but he got out there and he played like he was in that game. So any quarterback that can do that and, you know, make half of the other quarterbacks in the league look worse than him, I think he still deserves our praise, right? So he's just got to get back in, rebound, get that rebound, you know, and if he gets the opportunity to do it this weekend, great. Maybe he'll get out there and like, you know, gain that self-assurance that he needs because I feel like with our quarterbacks that we have in general, this confidence thing you know, it weighs on them a lot. It does. If if I'm looking at all three of them right now, I think that CJ's got the confidence that I would want in the starting game this weekend, I think. But I, I know that, that Nick has it in there too. I think it's something that he just needs to continue to work on.